my training here in uh, McMaster was after medical school I completed internal medicine and then two years in thrombosis uh, with the clinical team here which is world renowned and then I went off to Boston and spent a year doing a clinical fellowship in vascular medicine. I've had a number of patients who suffer from venous ulcers and these are often uh, downstream uh, sequelae of deep vein thrombosis that they may have suffered earlier and often due to chronic leg swelling there is skin breakdown and for those patients there's not really much offered to them apart from wearing tight compression stockings. My most dramatic case uh, was in a young woman who uh, suffered a deep vein thrombosis when she was in her 20s and had was left with long-term swelling of her leg. She works in, uh, in retail and is standing on her feet all the time and so at the end of the day she has significant swelling in one of her legs and she developed a venous ulcer. And she had seen a number of, of physicians before being referred to me uh, with the hopes that her ulcer could be healed and not much had been done. Uh, she liked to run and, and go hiking but felt that that would worsen her ulcer so really it restricted her life. And uh, at that time, uh, we tried uh, the Vena Wave on her, and she wore that uh, to decrease the amount of swelling that she would uh, develop by the end of the, a work day. And she started wearing it every day at work, and uh, eventually was wearing it even when going out for a run. And uh, we were all heartened to see that her ulcer completely healed using the Vena Wave. And she really uh, was overwhelmed with excitement and felt it was miraculous. Uh, so that, that type of case is very gratifying. And now she does wear her Vena Wave, even though her ulcer is healed, to prevent that uh, chronic swelling and, and to prevent skin breakdowns.